A curly question in last week's NCEA Level 2 maths exam has prompted dozens of complaints, with a university maths professor saying those who put the test together messed up. The question asked students to work out the area of a section of a shape, but the answer was geometrically impossible. My head is hurting already. NZQA has received 27 complaints so far, but while it has admitted there was an error in the question's design, it says that would not have prevented students from attempting it. Our cameraman Nick Monroe and reporter Nita Blake Person visited Patrick Bartlett, a mathematics professor at the University of Auckland, to get him to crunch the numbers. When you first come across this problem, does it seem hideously hard? It's it has two things that are fish hooks. One is that when you solve the problem, you get something that's geometrically impossible. And that is going to be a fish hook for really clever kids. They're going to try to solve the problem. They're going to be like, oh, wait, this is impossible. And then going back and recheck they're working three or four times. That's rough on them. The second thing is the way the diagram is written out is misleading. It makes it look like this uh, side length of the shaded rectangle is x minus 4. Um, I think that students from a lot of different levels are going to just make an algebraic mistake here. And it makes the problem much harder. And so it's a thing where. A mistake that doesn't, a very trivial mistake, a mistake that really doesn't involve any change in your reasoning, makes the working so much harder where it's going to be hard for those students to do well, even if they understand the material. Right. Because having just worked through this, there is a lot of explanation and working that is required, which would have led you, as you've said, to an excellence. But even when you get to that point, it's confusing. Yeah, no, there's a lot of layers going on here. Did it seem like an unfair question? I think that if it was geometrically possible and you rearrange these sides, we do ask questions like this pretty consistently. So I don't think it was, outside of those things, I think it's reasonable. I do think that those things push it over the edge of it. If you were in an exam, you picked up the paper and you were to work this out, are you able to quickly show me how, how quickly you could do that? Feel free to explain your workings, sure. but in like, shoo. Right, okay, so bottom is x, right hand side is y minus 8 plus y minus 2, 2y minus 6. These sides have an unknown, I don't know what it is, so I'm going to ignore that for now. Um, area here is... That would have taken you five minutes? I think so. Do you think it was fair for NCEA to word it that way, or is this something that was maybe a little bit more than teenagers' brains deserve to be coping with at that particular moment? I think that, I wouldn't say that it's any of the wording is unfair. I think the diagram is misleading. And I feel like if you're trying to test teenagers' understandings, you don't label it like that. Um, I don't think it's intentional. I think they just messed up. Um, and I think if you talk to people who wrote this problem, they'd be like, oh, yeah, no, I should have switched it around. And they'd be fine with that.